Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll go through how to create native mobile app screens for an RSVP app in Bravo Studio, connecting Figma, Typeform, Zapier, and Airtable. So first, we have this Figma file with two app screens created. One is a RSVP form, and the other one is a list showing the submissions that we get from the form. The first thing that we're going to do is to set up the Figma file so that it will be importable into Bravo Studio. To do so, we're going to create containers. Containers are frames that balance the visual elements of your app design and denote the main structural parts of each screen. They're always placed in the second level of the layers. And container separates the parts of the screen by their behavior. So we're going to first create the container for our form screen. And make sure that all your visual elements are within the container in the third level and below. Then we're going to add a web view embed of a type form into our app screen. And this is done with the Bravo tag. And I'm going to copy the type form link. And you simply change the placeholder URL in the Bravo tag into the type form URL. And then we're going to create the containers for the response screen. So first, we create one around the static design of the section title. And then we're going to create another one around the list item. And make sure that your containers don't overlap each other or have any spacings. And since the list item will populate itself after connecting to the external data, you only need to create one design. So you don't need to fill the entire page with a list because it will duplicate itself. And then I'm going to change the name of the frame container to list container so that later in Bravo Studio, when I connect my Figma elements with the Airtable elements, it'll be easy to identify. Now that we have the Figma file set up, it's time to create a project in Bravo Studio. So we're going to get the sharing URL from this Figma file, go into Bravo Studio, and copy and paste the link into Bravo Studio in order to create a project. After you've imported, you'll see your app screens in the Bravo Studio page, as well as a QR code. This is for you to preview your app on Bravo Vision which we will do at the end of the tutorial when to see the final result. Next, we'll set up Zapier. This will connect the type form to our Airtable database so that every time someone fills out the form in the form app screen, it will automatically create a record in the Airtable. So we'll start by setting up a Zap. First, we'll choose the app that has been connected, which is Typeform. Then we'll select our Typeform account and the form that we've created. And then we'll send a test so that Zapier can see if Typeform is successfully connected. Similarly, we'll select Airtable, select the behavior, and sign into our Airtable. The API key that Zapier asks for you here will be the same API key that Bravo will later ask you. So it's good to have this key in mind. After connecting to our Airtable account, we'll select the specific base and table. Then we'll connect the Airtable columns to the type form questions where the answer should go. As you can see, they are optional, so we don't need to connect all of them. Now Zapier is showing the example content that they will send to Airtable as a test. As you can see in the first row, the test content from Zapier is sent to our Airtable. So once that's successful, Click Done Editing and turn on your Zap. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the test content from Zapier from our Airtable and open up Airtable's API documentation so we can start connecting Bravo to Airtable. In Bravo, we'll go to Data Library and create a data collection. A data collection is a group of requests that fetches data from an external source. 
We'll go to Airtable's API documentation to get a request URL. So we'll copy and paste the URL into Bravo's request. Another thing that we want to do is to display the records in our app by the order that they are in the Airtable. So we're going to add view grid view so that the order is the same as our Airtable. Then we're going to input the header, which is an authorization to allow Bravo to call your Airtable to request these data. Press send. And now we have all the data from this Airtable. Now we'll select the data records that we want to be binded to our app design. Then we'll return to our project and click on the specific screen that we want to connect this data to. This will open up the binding setup page where you connect your Figma elements to the data records. Select the collection and the request that we just created, then click add content to pull up a screen of all your Figma layers. First, we'll select the container, and then to the right, we'll match it to records from Airtable. This will connect the list container to the array, which is all the rows of the Airtable. Then a plus sign will appear below. Click on that plus sign and select the rest of the visual elements. And accordingly, match them with the respective field from the Airtable. And now we're done. So now we can go back to the projects page and scan the QR code with Bravo Vision to see your native mobile app screens with an RSVP functionality. In this phone recording, you can see that the Bravo tag that we input into our Figma file from before now displays the type form, which is completely interactive. And here is all the submissions from your RSVP form with the most recent on top. And this is how you create an RSVP app in Bravo Studio. Thanks for watching.